Hello and welcome to your official Lug guitar lessons. My name's Emily Zimmer. I'm going to be your teacher. Let's rock. <laughs> It's time to learn how to play Count on Me by Bruno Mars. So we've got a few chords in this song and we've got a really simple strum pattern. The first chord is gonna be C, so right here at the first fret. And the strum pattern through almost the entire song is gonna be down strums like this. One and two and three and four and. Let's go over the intro section of the song. That's gonna be two measures Remember, that means I'm going to count to four two times of just the C chord with our down strums. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then we come up to the first verse. Now that's going to have a lot more chords in there. So we're going to hit a C chord first and then an E minor chord, right? Remember, that's the easiest chord. And then we're going to go to A minor, G, and then that tricky little F chord right here. So we're going to do a full measure of C. One and two and three and four and. Full measure of E minor. One and two and three and four and. And then for the first two beats, we're going to do A minor like this, one and two and, and a G chord for the last two beats like this, three and four and, and then a full measure of our F chord, one and two and three and four and, and then we have to repeat that section again. So I'm going to play one time through slowly, and then I'll show you a fast version with the repeat. If you want to play along, that's totally cool. One and two and three and here we go. C, two and three and four and E minor and two and three and four and A minor and G and F and two and three and four and. Now I'm going to do a version of that at what I call song tempo. Just a refresher, tempo in music means the speed of the beat. And song tempo is quite a bit faster than that. It's about two and three and four and one and two, like that. Here we go, and remember to repeat. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. to sound like the real thing, isn't it? Nice job. Let's move on to the pre-chorus. Pre-chorus is usually a part between like a verse and a chorus, which is the memorable part of the song, the part that repeats and the lyrics are mostly the same every time. So the pre-chorus is going to get us there. First chord is D minor, and we're going to do a full measure of that with our usual strum pattern, like this. One and A full measure of E minor, like this. One and two and three and four and. We're gonna switch over to F, full measure again. One and two and three and four and. And the last thing we do is called a whole note. Now a whole note lasts for four full beats. So we're gonna hit a G chord and we're gonna hold for four beats like this. One and two and three and four and. I know it seems long when you're doing it uh, at the slow tempo, but it's gonna make a little bit more sense when we speed it up. So let's do one slow and one at song tempo. On my count, two and three and four and. One and two and three to F and two and three and four and G and two and 
three, and four, and. Try it slowly at first. In fact, do that for every song that you play, especially if the song has a lot of chords in it or a difficult strum pattern. Remember, it's not a race. Just take it as slowly as you need to, get everything in place, and then when you're ready, you can go ahead and try it at song tempo. Let me show you that right now. So get on that D minor chord before we even start so you're ready to go. On my count. One and two and three and four and D minor and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, now it's time for the chorus of the song. Like I said, the chorus of a song is the part that usually has the same lyrics every time and the same melody every time. So this is the one with the lyric, you can count on me. Now we've got a repeated section with two different endings. So I'll show you the first time we go through and then I'll show you the second time, which is very slightly different. First time we hit a C chord for a full measure. We're going to go to E minor, full measure. One and two and three and four and. And similarly to something we did before, we're going to go to A minor for the first two beats and G for the last two beats, like this. One and two and three and four and. Now we're coming up on our first ending, so this is what we do the first time through, but not the second. That's just a solid F chord all the way through one measure. One and two and three and four and. Now we hit that repeat sign, we gotta go back. So let's play almost everything the same again, starting with that C1 and two and three and four and over to E minor one. minor and G one and two and three and four and now we're gonna skip that first ending and go to our second ending and it goes like this F for one and two and and G for three and four and it's kind of cool they added that extra chord there just to change things up a bit let's try that whole thing uh, at a slow tempo, and then we'll try song tempo. Two and three, and here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. First ending, one and two and three and four. Repeat. If you still need some practice on that at that tempo, go ahead and do that. Come back when you're ready to try it at song tempo. All right, everybody who's ready, let's do it at song tempo. A one, two, three, and four, and one. If you're trying your best out there, way to go. Now let's move on to the next verse of the song. This one is also a repeated part, just like the first verse. So since we've already gone over the first verse, I'm gonna just do this at a slow tempo and then at a fast tempo. If you need to review that first verse, go ahead and pause, rewind, and come back when you're ready. Here's the second verse at the slow tempo. Two and three and four and C. Two and three and four and E minor and two and three and four to A minor and G and four and F and two and three and repeat back to C.
everybody who's ready, let's try that at song tempo. A one and two and three and four and one and two. Now, if you have a hard time keeping track of which measure you're on, which beat you're on, how many strums you've done, I recommend counting out loud at first so you can train your brain to keep track of everything. All right, let's move on to the second pre-chorus. It's the same as the first one, so I'll go slow and then fast. Two and three and four and D minor and two. Let's do that at song tempo. A one and two and three and four and one and two. All right, let's go on to the second chorus. It's the same as the first chorus. Do you sense a pattern here, right? Music moves in patterns. So I'll do one slow and one at song tempo. A one and two and three and here we go and C and two and three and four and E minor have a first ending with F right here, three and four, repeat, and C and two and three and four to E minor and two and three and four to A minor and G, second ending. to do that at song tempo. Here we go. A one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and repeat and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four second and Time for something a little different. This is the bridge of the song. Usually the bridge of a song is a part that's a little bit different from everything else, or it could be similar to everything else, but it has different lyrics. It's just something to sort of amp up the drama of the song and make the last couple of parts more exciting. So here's the bridge. We've got a D minor chord first, full measure. We've got an E minor chord, same deal. One and two and three and four and. Now remember how we had a repeat with a first and second ending in one of our parts that we looked at before? Well, here's your first ending to the bridge. A minor, full measure, one and two and three and four and. And G for a full measure, one and two and three then the second time through, we do the D minor and E minor the same way, but we take our second ending this time, which is a full measure of F, one and two and three and four and, and we're going to hit a whole note on G, one and two and three and four and. Let's take that whole bridge slowly and then song tempo, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and E minor and two and three and four and A minor and two and three and four and G and two and three second time right here D minor two and three and four and E minor 
for and. All right, here's the bridge section at song tempo. On my count, a one and two and three, and here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, first ending and one and two, three and four and three and repeat now. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and second ending and one and two and three and four and. All right, now we've come to the final chorus of the song. And we want this to be really good so we can have a nice ending. This time we do our usual chorus, but we do it three times in a row. And then our big ending is nothing other than a G chord on a whole note like this. One and two and three and four and. So I'll just go straight into the slow tempo and then we'll do one fast. Here's the slow, first chord is C. One and two and three, and here we go. A one and two and three and four and E minor and two and three and four and A minor and G and F and two. And on the last time, we go to C and two and three and four and. Now I'm going to play the full third chorus at song tempo. Here we go. A one and two and three and four and C. All right, thanks for tuning into this lesson, and I'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe to the Lou Guitars channel and press the bell icon so you can get notified every time we have a new lesson up. Until next time.